Hi, I'm Frank Sesno coming to you from the George Washington University in the Planet Forward Studios in downtown Washington, D.C. Here's a question for you. Would you be willing to climb 300 feet to see what climate change actually looks like? Well, there's a research team in California that's doing just that, literally swinging from the ropes in the Earth's tallest forest, home to those majestic giant redwoods, to see what the impact of climate change is on them. Steve Sillett, Humboldt State University, leads the team. Check out this view. That's incredible. He hopes their work in the last remaining old growth forest will reveal how its trees are adapting to a changing planet. KQED brought the story to planetforward.org. We climb these trees to measure their structure. So we're interested not just in how big the trunk is at ground level. We want to know how big the trunk is at all the heights, all the way to the treetop. We want to know the total height of the tree, if it's got a lean. We want to know every branch. So we measure the diameter, height, angle, slope, extension, and number of forks on every branch in the tree. So by the time we're done with our sampling, we will be able to reconstruct the tree in three dimensions on the computer and then solve for surface area, volume, mass, the number of leaves, all these things that we want to know about the tree. So, so these ancient redwoods, these trees that are pushing 2,000 years of age are incredibly complicated trees structurally. So we measure the entire crown so that we can calculate accurately what's its surface area. And why is it important to know surface area? Because the trees grow from their surface. They don't grow from the center out, they grow from the out, out. So just beneath the bark, there's the cambium and it slowly advances. So if you know the surface area of the tree, you know the surface across which the tree's producing wood. It's not like climate change is new. Climate is always changing to some degree. It's just the speed with which it's changing now. And I think that the, the trees are responding to these changes and because they're so long lived, we can get a sense of how unusual are these climate changes we're observing now compared to what the trees have experienced over the last thousand to two thousand years. So I don't think we need to be like freaking out about this, but I think it's important that we look at it because it's very possible that the environmental conditions that sustain these redwood forests will change in a way that no longer would be able to sustain the same forest. You know, in many ways, trees are kind of like the canary in the coal mine here. They're the first to show the signs of stress and change as a result of global warming. So we'd very much like to hear from you and have you show us, if you've got a video camera and you can do this, what you're seeing, how the trees are stressing, if your community is doing things differently. What's happening in your neighborhood? Let us know. Let us know how you're growing and uh, building to adapt to this changing planet. All of it at planetforward.org.